Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can do some basic graphing on the Casio FX CG50 graphing calculator. If you don't have one of these calculators but would like one, check the link in the description below. To do this, we'll use the menu key that looks like this located here. The exe or execute key that looks like this located here. The x or variable key that looks like this located here. The delete key that looks like this located here. The exit key that looks like this located here. As well as the F1 through F6 keys that look like this located across the top here. To get started with graphing, first we have to go to the graphing app. So to do that, we press the menu key to go to the main menu, and then scroll down to graph here so that it's highlighted, and then hit the exe so that we're here at the graphing function entry menu. If it's the first time we're here, these will all be empty. If we've done some graphing before, we might have functions in here. If we do, we can delete them with the F2 key here. We'll get started with a simple line. Let's enter y equals x plus 1. So we're at y1 already. And then we can enter x with the x key here plus 1, and then hit the exe to finish that function. There we go. We've entered our first line. Now if we want to view that line, we can either hit F6, draw, or exe, or execute again. We'll hit the execute key, and there we go. There's our line on the graph. We can scroll around on our graph with the arrow keys. And if we want to go back to our original position, all we have to do is press Shift, F2 for zoom, F6 to go to the next menu, and then F1 original. And we're back where we started there. We can also zoom by pressing Shift and then F2 for zoom. If we want to go out, we hit F4 and then hit EXE and see that we've zoomed out. And we can zoom in with the Shift Zoom F3 for in. And again, hitting the EXE key to zoom in. To go back to our function entry menu, we can hit the exit key. There we go. If we want to edit our original function, we can just scroll up to it and then use the right arrow to move the cursor around so that we can edit our function. Let's change it to y equals x plus 0 0.5. So we've moved our cursor there and we can press delete to get rid of the 1, and then enter 0 0.5 exe. And this time, let's hit F6 for draw. And there we go. There's our new updated line. And then again, we'll go back with the exit key. Let's add a second function now. Let's go y equals 3x squared minus 1. So we go 3x squared minus 1. exe and draw. And there we go. There's both our functions on our graph. If we want to turn off one of our functions but not delete it, we can do that by going back to our function menu and 
For example, let's say we want to turn off our Y1 or our line without deleting it. We can do that by highlighting it and then hitting F1 select so that the highlight on the equal sign is turned off. And now if we hit draw, we see that line is no longer visible on our graph. To turn it back on, again, we go back with the exit key, highlight Y1, hit select, so that the equal sign is turned on, and then go back to our graph, and we've got both functions back now. We can also change the line work style. If we go exit, and let's say we want to change this Y1 instead of being a solid line into a dotted line. To do that, we just press F4 for tool, and then F1 style. And we see the different line work styles along the bottom here. Let's choose F3 here, this dotted line. We can see the example of the line work there. And then we can go back with the exit key and hit F6 for draw. And we see that Y1 is now a dotted line. If we want to zoom in on a specific section, we can use the box zoom. To do that, we press Shift, F2 for zoom, and then select F1 for box. Then we see the cursor on our screen, and we can move it over to select our box. Let's use it to zoom in on this section here. So we put it in the corner, press the EXE key, and then scroll over to highlight the section we want to zoom in on. Once we've got it, we hit EXE again, and we've zoomed in on our new box section. Again, to go back, we go Shift, F2 for zoom, F6, and then F1 for original. We can use the trace function to find specific values of X and Y on our functions. To do that, we press Shift, and then F1 trace. Now we see the cursor on our y1 function, and we can scroll left and right to move along the line. At the bottom, you can see an x and a y value. So this tells us at, for example, x equals 1, we have a y of 1.5. If we want to see the y value at a specific point, we can just enter the x value. For example, let's see what y at x equals 2 is. To do that, we press 2, and then it says enter x value. We've already entered our 2. Hit exe, and we see our cursor has jumped to x equals 2, and that tells us y equals 2.5. To see what y is at x equals 0, again, we just enter our x value, so 0, exe, and we see x equals 0, y equals 0 0.5. To check our other function, just scroll up or down, so we'll go down, and now our cursor is on the y2 function, and we can scroll left or right on it to see our x and y values. If we're done with this, we can go back with the exit key to our graphing function. And if we're completely done with graphing, we can go to the main menu with the menu key. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And, as always, good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.